China's defense minister warned that China would not hesitate to go to war if Taiwan took a decisive step to claim independence. Minister Wei Feng her added that China does not believe the U.S. opposes Taiwan's independence. A day earlier, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin accused the Chinese government of increasingly aggressive activities near Taiwan. The comments by Wei Feng her, a China-India war veteran, came on the final day of the Shangri-La Dialogue. The dialogue is a regional security forum in Singapore attended by many policymakers from Asia-Pacific area. The long weekend skirmishes epitomized tensions between Beijing and Washington over regional disputes in Asia, particularly over Taiwan. In a speech to diplomats, defense officials, and security experts, Wei Fengher said China's biggest wish is peaceful reunification with Taiwan and will do its best to that end. Taiwan in Beijing's eye is a part of China. The minister also said. No one should underestimate the determination and strong capability of the Chinese military to assert national sovereignty claims. The United States fought the civil war for national unification, Wei said. China is very reluctant to have such a civil war but will resolutely smash any attempt at Taiwan independence. If anyone dares to separate Taiwan from China, we will spare no expense for a war. China has long said it would take back Taiwan by force if necessary. But the comments by Mr. Wei, Mr. Austin, and others at the Singapore Forum underscore why Taiwan remains the most combustible point of dispute between China and the U.S. and its allies. Officials and experts are divided over whether a military conflict over Taiwan is imminent. But most believe the danger is rising, as the People's Liberation Army has been amassing equipment and skills to make such a military operation a credible option. Minister Wei and Minister Austin, both were military generals, met Friday to discuss regional issues, the war in Ukraine, and efforts to improve communication between the U.S. and Chinese militaries and avoid dangerous military miscalculations. Speaking at the forum on Saturday, Austin said China was engaging in provocative and destabilizing military activities around Taiwan. He also said the Biden administration does not support Taiwan's independence and remains committed to the One China principle, referring to the United States' recognition of, but not support of, Beijing's position on Taiwan. In his remarks Sunday, Mr. Wei didn't name the U.S., but said Chinese leaders don't believe such assurances. Some countries have betrayed the One China principle and commitment on the Taiwan question, Mr. Wei said in his speech. Pursuing Taiwan independence will lead to a dead end. Self-respect won't succeed, never. U.S. law requires Washington to be prepared to resist any use of force, leaving open the possibility of U.S. military intervention should China attempt to invade Taiwan. In Singapore, Austin said the United States was committed to maintaining our ability to resist any coercion, military or otherwise, that could endanger Taiwan. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe, share and comment. It will really help us developing this channel and bring you more videos about Chinese military news. Thank you.